Sigurd, your father tells me you have a love pledge with Setha. No, not anymore. She called me a whale face and I spit on her foot. Those are not words a lover should use. Does Sefa know you have severed your bond with her? She does. I told her to find another Drenger. Then she cried. I do not know why. Sadness can be so silly. Your meanness will haunt you one day, Sigurd. I would never betray you. Because we are friends. In love, hurt is different from that of friendship. Lovers must betray one another as the sun rises and sets. Why do you cry out so much? Oh, sorry, friend. I questioned the Lord in a moment of weakness. I crawled this far, but it seems I will never get to Clee Hill. Why go there? Long ago, Saint Milberger's prayers brought forth a miraculous spring bursting forth from the top of that hill. A simple visit cures all ailments. In fact, the spring is the source of this small fall of water right here. What? Are you going to take me to Clee Hill Spring? Oh, thank you, stranger! It is a joyous day! <laughs> Make haste, oh stranger, for I am eager to walk again. Once more know the joy of striding across a grassy knoll on a summer's day. The Holy Spring, at last! <sighs> Merely breathing the fresh air blown across its burbling waters will cure me. But thank you, good soul. I hope you find your cure. This is impossible! Which way? Something wrong. I'm blind, you idiot. I caution you not to insult me, stranger. All right, you're the victim. My life is shit. I'll never find my way to Clee Hill Spring. Why do you seek that spring? Do you know nothing? The enchanted waters heal people. You just have to show up. But I'll never make it. Unless... Unless you lead me there. Oh, dear Lord, yes. Walk loudly, friend. I'll follow wherever you go. Lead me to Clee Hill Spring. My sight will return. I'll see birds and trees, flowers and clouds. War and squalor as well. Oh, thank you so much for pissing on my dreams. Do me a kindness, would you? Shove something in your gruel hole. Where are you going? I give up. Not the spring I hear. It's nearby. Hurry! Who is that man? What? Uh, who said that? I'm right here before you. Do you mock me? I'm blind. Ah, uh, sincere apologies. I did not realize. I meet nothing but village idiots. Why do you speak from the ground? Stand up and greet me proper. Alas, my legs are afflicted. I cannot stand. What good are you? A heap on the ground. I see a way you can help one another. Would you please stick a cork in it for two minutes? It's obvious this piddling stream is useless. I'm stuck, blind as a dead dog, with no one to guide me on my way. I have no one that... Whoa, oh, whoa. Sometimes I almost lose faith. Wait. What? I need someone to lead, and you can see. And I need someone to carry me. Together, we are as one full man. Oh, heaven sent joy! Oh, all because of this Dane. 
Thank you, stranger. The not near worker tangled. I am so dead. Help me, Wayfarer, or you'll see me in your dreams. Speak. What are you? I died a terrible death, killed by wolves or something. Nobody read the last rites. I'm stuck in purgatory. Have a heart, Wayfarer. Give a little something to help free me. Give something? A little offering to help a fellow out on my journey to the land of the dead. I'm not fooled by trickery. Do not pester dead people. Fifty pieces of silver will be enough to bring me peace. I will find you and kill you. Twelve pieces of silver. You'll soon be dead enough. A head of cabbage? I don't have all day, Wayfarer. You should know, the dead do not have an abundance of patience. My soul won't rest until you open your purse and put some fucking silver on the ground. What about it, Wayfarer? Are you listening? I'm a dead man. I don't have all day, Wayfarer. Oh, now I can rest in peace in the land of the dead and all that. You can go, Wayfarer. Go ahead. No need to stay. Voice of the dead. You appear much livelier than I expected. I tried to swindle you, so what? Life is tough. It's good business being a dead man. No need to get angry about this. That's mine! I swindled hard for that! Give it here! Now you're truly dead. Speak all you want. This well. Not a lot of fight in you, is there? You might be surprised. What do you want? I'd like to do with words what the Corrin deprives my fists. What? I want to have a flighting match. I'm ready to duel. I bet. Now speak. Let us see if your skills are a match for your pride. I am feared by all men, be they Northern or Saxon. And your thick little skulls fit for grinding my axe on. Stronger than I thought. Oh, you think you can scare me? I'm tougher than you. Test your might against mine, and we'll see how you do. How? Dare you? Let's dispense with these poems and have a real row.
If it's fighting you want, I shall take you on now. You think you're good with words, eh? How about your fists? I will have my winnings, please. Earn them! You're mine! <laughs> Yourself. I must say I'm impressed. A test for the mind and the body. Take what you've earned. Thank you. I will. Here, I believe, is where the Nephilim place sacred stones to guard the Chattel of God from other giants. Those present were scared by demons, and God defended the pious, sending the giants away. Only these holy reverberations remain. The work of good souls, who have the earth in their heart, will forever be tied to our ancestors and our lord via this gateway. Who's this witch that locked you in? A horrible old hag who wants to make me into rabbit stew. Thanks for helping me get out of here. teach you not to pick your nose. Thanks, stranger.
Anomaly 4. Bex, you really have to hear this in here. Two voices, definitely Isu. One of them is Alethea, I think. From the staff? Yeah. But I don't think these are contemporary. They feel candid. Accidental. I'll keep trying.
finding. This is an absolute gold mine. I hope you realize. Feels like it. This is literally the clearest raw memory stream footage we've ever seen from the Isu era. Only question is, who's feeding them to you? Sending it over. What did you say to me? No one has ever dared to come all the way up before. What happens now? We fight. Fear got your belly, dog. This will some in it. that you don't. Again? I thought I shut you up last time. <sighs> you again? Quit stalling. Shit, how many times must I beat you to mush? Oh, just you try! You're going down! A fighter. Oh. Never forget that. I'm tired of defeating you. Oh, it's Tid. The hill is yours. You're the true champion. Oh. Hello, stranger. What is this place? Do you like it? My wife and I have constructed it from ancient stones. It is a house of dreams and memories, fashioned from gossamer and summer breezes. 
It is beautiful. Paula and I have traveled near and far. Oh, the things we've seen and done. When I say far, I mean to distant lands beyond your imagination. Each brick of this castle is a memory from our adventures. You have gathered wisdom from your travels. I have, and it is this. It is all very well to prepare for tomorrow. But do not forget today. Today, this hour, this moment is a precious gift. Paula and I will look out from our window over the green of England and recall the hours of our travels. From our window, we can relive our adventures. There she is now! I must go to her! I thank you for your words, friend. something polish the family brooch up for my niece put it down for two seconds and it's gone one of the sheep must have swallowed it that will be one hungry sheep it was my grandmother's given her by a very wealthy uh admirer how will i get it back without hurting any of my lovely sheep there is nothing tasty about a brooch doing this Ugh, nothing I must continue my search what has this sheep eaten nothing in there I've had no luck getting your brooch a luck a day bring it Not in very fine condition. Here's your brooch. Woo! That smell would knock over a horse. Just take it. It'll need a wash in, but my niece will be so grateful. Many thanks, stranger. I will not help in this way again. Every day my loins wither with waiting. When will he come to me? God doesn't give a rat's ass about your love life. Then do it for the money. I'm willing to pay good coin to someone who believes in true love. I will... I know a few things about love. Do you? Or did you hear the chime of my coin purse? Does it matter? No. Not when the village children pelt my door with vegetables, call me old maid and witch. You need someone to protect you from children. Leave your scorn. There is a man. We have been secretly betrothed for years, but his father refuses our union. So you will kidnap him and make it look good. His house is near here, surrounded by red flowers. Oh, wait, I will kidnap him? You will know my love by his red hair. And try not to kill his father. That will put a damper on our happy day. I will roast him a fat hen or a stew. Would he like that? Please, 
please. Lay him. Who are you? What is this? Hush, my love. All will be well. Well, wait. So this boy is your lover, or no? He will be. I have watched him for many turns of the sun. And now he will know of my burning love. Thanks to you. You watched me? That is so... Strange and unnatural. Romantic. That you would go to such lengths to win my heart. It touches me. In places I cannot speak of. You have my thanks, Dane. Take your reward and leave us. Plow me, soft one. Scythe the weeds from my field.